Hello and welcome to Reinfused. Today we are taking a look at Jeff Crammon's Formula One Grand Prix on the Commodore Amiga, or rather more specifically on the CD32. Now this game wasn't officially released on the CD32. Uh, it was uh, Amiga 500 era, although there were a few versions after that. So this is a uh, yeah a naughty CD compilation that someone made. But uh, I wanted to play this game because it's I'm a huge Formula One fan, and this really was the first game which let you experience Formula One. Now, obviously, it doesn't quite look as good now as it did back then, but at the time, uh, this was pretty astounding. Like 3D graphics had the official cars and the team, so you could play as your as your heroes. Now, this version, uh, again, because it's a compilation someone else made on a CD, they've patched the data files so that it has more up-to-date drivers drivers from the 2015 era which you know it's kind of fine doesn't really fit with my memories of it but that's absolutely fine so um yeah let's take a look now i'm guessing i mean i don't know i'm assuming it will run a little bit better because like i said i played this on the amiga 500 which is substantially less powerful than the cd32 now this obviously won't be using any of the special graphics capabilities that the cd32 has but the clock speed alone presumably will, will see some kind of a frame improvement. At the time, it seemed fine. I, I think possibly it's not it's not as good now as it was then. But the frame rate seemed fine back then. Anyway, so let's have a look at the team. So I've always been a McLaren boy, and obviously, uh, as much as I love Alonso, I do have to back the British boy there. So let's go on. So. Yeah, again, these are, are teams that wouldn't normally have been in this version of Formula 1 Grand Prix, but they've been patched in afterwards. Um, let's just jump straight into a non-championship. I don't even know how this works on the controller. I, I think I played it on a joystick on the Amiga 500, right? So, yeah, I mean... Oh, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> oh, I think you push forward to it. So I hate that. And on the CD32 controller, that's going to be especially great. Okay, well, let's do, uh, obviously Silverstone. Presumably this will be Silverstone. Uh, so, yeah, let's do Great Britain. Again, flying the flag. Well, it is Silverstone. Okay, so. And yes, yeah, a 3D map. The race, again, this is kind of, probably not the first time, I guess, in hard driving is probably the first time. But, um, this was one that really, it connected to Formula One more than anything. Um, let's just go straight into the race because uh, we don't want the video to be too long. <laughs> I could probably play this forever. Now, the other thing that this game had was a bunch of driver aids to help you. And, oh, where have they, actually, yeah, I didn't do qualifying. So where has that put me? Am I right at the back? Hold on. <laughs> I'm right at the back. Well, we get to see my, uh, <laughs> actually leading into the, the driver aids. One of them is indestructibility. Uh, which I believe is on by default. And so this would be my main race strategy for winning this uh, on this game, which is uh, literally just to aim for a bunch of cars on a corner and bounce off. <laughs> right, so... Yes, okay, so pushing forward does accelerate. Right. So what does... Oh, right. So that changes... Right. So the fire button changes gear. None of the other fire buttons do anything, obviously, because they did not exist in the Amiga... Uh, on the Amiga 500. You had one button. Oh, hello. That's a Ferrari, is it? I just crashed into a Ferrari. Oh, okay. Yeah, this, this, yeah. <laughs> this is not as fluid as I remember it being. Oh, God. Oh, did I get hit or is that just me being really bad? It's probably me being really bad, isn't it? Right, I didn't get the chance to do my spearing into the corner technique. <laughs> because they'd already accelerated as I was bumbling and crashing into walls. So I just did a legitimate takeover. Oh, that wasn't legitimate. That was that was definitely crashing into someone. But it's I know it looks pretty bad now, but this was this was amazing at the time. This was uh it felt so realistic. I remember just playing this for hours. Me and my cousin uh, would play this. And uh because this has got a really, really good mode where you can do multiple players on one machine. And look, flag waivers showing that the track's now safe now that I'm no longer crashing into people. Yeah, so you could uh, play multiplayer on one machine by, it would just give you a countdown 
and then the next person took over and the computer would uh, control it. And did I do that? <laughs> I don't know if I did that or not. <laughs> and, uh, and then count the other person in and it would just do that as you swap turns. It was really, really good. Uh, now it's nothing like the old, uh, like you've got driver turns now on like Forza, which is clever AI which learns your driving technique. This was literally just the computer would just do its best after it took over you. But yeah, so where am I? I am 10th. Uh, no, I'm 13th, sorry. Um, so I'm out of the points regardless. Even if this is using old rules, I'm out of the points. And if this is 2015, I'm presuming they've changed the rules as well, so... Ooh, hello. Right, let's sweep past him. And him. Oh, into the corner, there we go. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you get an advantage with all the driver raids on. Ooh, hello. Oh, oh, I've lost it. Where are we? There's the track, there's the track. I'm going straight off. <laughs> It's still fantastically fun. Uh, it doesn't obviously look as good as it used to. And my thumb is really tired. The CD32 controller is not well suited to this. <laughs> I really do wish I had uh, one of the alternative controllers for the CD32, but they go for ridiculous prices on eBay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, it also looks quite blurry, which I guess is probably something to do with... I don't know, it probably was blurry anyway. I'm about to say, it's something to do with the conversion to HDTV, but you know what? I imagine it was blurry anyway. Uh, this is using the uh, retro tink, which is doing a pretty good job on it. And... <laughs> oh. But yeah, it's... Oh, sorry. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the uh, the crashing, uh, indestructible style of racing. Oh, I think that probably was me. Yes. Sorry, Hulk. <laughs> Alright, that can't have been me, surely. I don't think I've hit that many people. You do get... I mean, there is attrition in this, so the drivers will crash. They can take their performance from the year they were in, so... The game originally had some data about the year it was based in, and so the cars would effectively have the same performance, and the drivers would... Oh, 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 spinning. <laughs> and the drivers would basically have the same characteristics, more or less, of, of what they had in the race. It was obviously very, very um, simplified, because there, there wasn't enough memory or process of how to do it properly. And I'm assuming that whoever patched this has probably patched in some data from the 2015 system season, seeing as uh, Ooh, Hamilton is doing pretty well in the McLaren. That's about right for 2015. All right. <laughs> All right, let's just do, we'll finish this lap and then we uh, will do a sum up. Oh, yeah, he's got damage. I'm guessing that's probably me. I think mean, it's probably safe to assume that most cars being damaged are being done by me. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm i able to take these corners at quite a high speed because I do have that driver aid on as well. Like I said, there are a ton of driver aids and there's one that basically kind of tries to keep you... <laughs> all these cars littering the side. There's one that tries to keep you on the driving, uh, the best driving line as well. And so... That's helping me out. You can kind of see occasionally it wiggles around and that's because I'm steering somewhere it doesn't want to and it's trying to move me back. <laughs> but yeah. So uh, yeah, you know, what's sixth? So old or, or new, I'd be getting points. So that's pretty good. Right. Well, yeah, Jeff Cameron's Fallen on Grand Prix. This was an amazing game for its time. And uh, yeah, compared to nowadays where everything just looks... Well, if you play it in like demo mode, it just looks like you're watching Formula One. It's not obviously going to compete with that, but it's still a good game. It still plays really well. It's still good fun. And for the time, it was amazing. It really made me connect to Formula One in a way that I just couldn't do just by watching it on television. Yeah, no, it's a fantastic game. And if you've never played this, you really should. It's 
it's a, just a good motoring game. Uh, I keep saying especially for its time, but you know what, even now it's pretty good. So uh, yeah, if you've got the uh, an Amiga or the relevant emulation, then uh, definitely pick it up. Right, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit like. If you really enjoyed the video, please hit subscribe. If you didn't enjoy the video or you have something else to say, then please leave it in the comments below. See you next time.